Hey guys, welcome back to the Domicom channel. What you're seeing right here is a widescreen TV that's projecting my laptop. I don't know if you can see the Windows icons down here. But uh, the program that's running in the background is a program called D20 Pro. It is actually a fantastic program to run online role-playing game adventures with, especially in the uh, D20 system. Uh, right here, uh, there are my four players. I'm running as the what D20 Pro calls the judge, but uh, game, you know, the GM. And uh, so we're starting up a Pathfinder game. We just had one event or one day of the adventure thus far. I'm going to be posting a journal of what's going on in the game on the Dormicom blog channel. So if you guys are interested, head on over there and you can kind of keep up with what's going on. I've got John from War Game Painting, Tony Pony F, Bootleg, and a friend of ours named Nate. Uh, all playing this adventure with us. Uh, for those of you guys who are actually local that I've played with before, please uh, know that I would have invited you, except I'm actually uh, combining a lot of one-shot adventures you guys have already been through uh, to make this campaign happen in a short amount of time. For those of you guys who are interested in actually seeing the game develop, we're hoping to change. We currently we're using Skype and D20 Pro. Uh, we're eventually going to be using Uvu and potentially recording the session. And if there's enough bandwidth after that, we might actually attempt to post it on Justin TV. But I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself. I do not want that to affect uh, the flow of the game. So we'll have to see uh, exactly how we're going to do this. Again, the journal of what's going on in the adventure can be found on the Dermacom blog channel uh, eventually. I haven't posted anything just yet. Um, and won't by the time this video gets posted, but a few days later you might see it. So let's talk a little bit about the D20 Pro uh, program. They actually have a window here that uh, the players can click on chat and talk with the various people who, you know, if they need to send little messages back and forth. There's a dice rolling program built into it. Um, you can actually stipulate how many dice the when you click on the actual dice icon, that's the sides of the dice that you're rolling, uh, and add or subtract modifiers. Again, it's it's pretty much a whole package, but uh, there is a little bit of a cost. I, I believe it's somewhere in the thirty dollar range. Maybe it's twenty dollars. I'll, I'll I'll check and post in the description area uh, the cost for. With the cost, you get an initial. GM license and I think two guest licenses. Uh, beyond that, you can purchase additional licenses for ten dollars. I, I I think it's twenty dollars gets you the the um, game manager and two guest licenses. John owns D twenty eight Pro as well, so I didn't have to buy a license for him. He can log into the game and without consuming my guest licenses. Uh, the other three players are coming in via the guest license. You're seeing right now the player's version. Uh, this is actually the screen that Tony was using. Uh, and it includes things so that when you're running the game, you can in introduce the notion of fog of war. So that, for instance, they haven't left this area into this area, so they can't see what's down here. On the judge's screen, or the, the, the game manager's screen, instead of it being pitch black, it's more of a translucent. You can kind of tell what things you've revealed, what things you haven't. Um... Overall, I think it's a fantastic program. We've had a lot of fun on, on the first day. So again, if you're interested in following it, Dormicon blog channel. And uh, that's about it. Hope you guys are having a good one. Have a good weekend. Later.